Now, what we were referencing a little bit earlier was Portland is bracing for more Antifa protests, which could be bring the violence we've seen before, right? Remember all that, the mayor out there trying to uh, discourage Scary stuff, yeah. this stuff. But as we saw, Andy No, the conservative journalist that got beaten up, he's been on this channel a lot. Well, uh, here's a quote from a former member, Gabriel Nadalis, of Antifa in an op-ed to Fox News, basically summing up what it's become, saying Antifa has become far more violent and bold since I was involved nearly a decade ago. I've followed the growth in numbers, incidences, and extremism, and I strongly believe it is the recklessness of those who have the power and influence of a soapbox. As a society, we need to take Antifa seriously. That means it's time for our leaders and influencers to be honest and diligent about exposing a real danger to public safety and American principles. What we're likely to have later today is this Patriots March, a conservative group coming but that draws Antifa, so we could have clashes out there later on this afternoon. Yeah, we've had Gabriel on the show. Gabriel's a very important important voice to me in this because he is a former member of Antifa, as you said, Griff, and he has some inside knowledge as to what the motivation of the group is, what they get told on the inside. And it's very scary right now because you want to defend people's right to protest. That is a cornerstone of, of this republic that we live in. But at the same time, it becomes very scary when journalists who are now going to cover these protests fear for their own lives and their own safety because that is profoundly un-American to violate people's right to protest by infusing these movements with violence um, and, and with a lot of fear. You know, people should be able to go. They should be able to express themselves, differing opinions. Uh, but what you're seeing on camera right now, which was from the uh, last uh, protest in Portland in June, that is a Andy No, who got uh, assaulted. You remember we covered this at the time and you saw images of him um, and, and his, his face had been badly hurt. Um, he had been gone to the, to the hospital. This is this is despicable behavior uh, on the that, behalf of any movement. That's exactly right, Jed. And you know, uh, the mayor was criticized because in what you're watching now, one thing is missing, and that is a police presence. Right. Almost as if Portland allowed it to happen. We will see in today's protest, whatever unfolds, whether or not the mayor and the city leaders have said, hey, listen, we don't want another Andy No situation. Right. Uh, Spe specifically on that situation. exercise their First Amendment rights. It's important to remember, the culprits have not yet been prosecuted in that situation. And one final note on this, you think that kind of violence would be called out by every single one of the 2020 Democrats. Mm -hmm. Read a report that said not everybody has called out that yeah. violence from Antifa. Yeah.